Okay, so this is just going to be a quick video where I work on the basic curtain model because the video I'm currently working on is an architecture video. I'm going to link it in the description and it's probably going to be a card up in the top right. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm doing this in a separate video is because I don't want that video to be super long and I sort of want that to focus on the basic modeling aspects and not um, advanced materials like this. So I'm just going to like add different like, you know, Got loop cuts over here and around this side as well. And uh, next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the right. It's good to know like which side you're going to start from. So I'm quickly just going to select one, two. I'm going to skip two every single time. Um, this is like nothing special. I'm just eyeing everything. So anyway, let's see. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Come over here and add a vertex group. And I'm going to assign this to this one. Next up, what we want to do is we want to come over here to the physics tab. I believe it's this one. Yeah. So physics tab, make a cloth and under collision. Um, wait, no, under shape, you want to pin the vertex group that you just made. So what that does is basically it pins these points. Anyway, so next up, what we want to do is one second. Why didn't it actually work? Oh, anyway, <laughs> next up, what we want to do is since we skipped two every single time, right? Uh, take a look. So I can just quickly select every second one, this one, and then skip two. It's pretty simple, to be honest. Uh, and just do that. And there we go. Next up, I want to press G, X, so I can move them in this direction. But before I do that, I need to enable this. You can just set up connected and maybe just do smooth it's nothing really that important. Just take it down, do whatever you want, and yeah, on this way is fine. Um, next up, what you can do is Control One to make it smoother, or if you don't want to make it smoother right now, you can like distort it more and then make it smoother. So that gives you like this amazing pattern of sorts. So it's already looking like a curtain, but it's like it's too how do I say this? <laughs> it's too perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subdivide it, um, move this up, and yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, subdivide it like this. So now we have this really complex mesh over here. And next up, I want to give this like a bit of an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select one point up here, move the cursor over here, and I'm going to move this object's origin to this cursor and then I can easily rotate it along the y-axis like this. Alright, and next up all you do is just start the animation and you'll notice that it's chugging and the reason it's chugging is because it has to do a lot of calculations. So you don't really need to do this but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna bake, um, what's it called? Yeah, bake all of this like uh, animation, the cache basically. So. I'm going to stop recording when I do this and I'm going to, you know, restart once it's done. BRB. Okay, so it has finally like baked. It only took a couple of minutes, but we still have a problem as you can obviously see. Our model still looks pretty perfect, so we need to add more deformations to it. Um, the easiest way to do it is basically just get back into edit mode and select like different bits and pieces. Um, so for example, I've just selected this, right? And I want to just you know, move it off. Just move everything off just a little tiny bit. And you can basically do the same with everything else, but it is a good idea to just select the stop bit and hide it because that's where our pin is. And we don't want our pin to be moving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly do some additional deformations. Uh, nothing really huge. Just don't want it to be perfect. And what that will do is that'll give us like, that'll give our curtain a uh, realistic feel okay we're just trying to add some entropy some chaos to everything okay and now you can unhide everything um all right that is a problem but for the purpose of like my actual design this doesn't matter like none of this matters up here also it is a good idea to come down here and turn on self collision as well now i'm gonna rebake it and i'll catch you guys after i'm done baking it once more brb all right so it's done baking but as you'll notice as soon as i like actually played this 
animation, it's gonna explode. Let's see. Okay, so it like violently explodes outward and just stretches out. So the reason that's happening is because of the amount of details I added and this like, you know, the collision distances and stuff like that. If I were to turn off self collision, it would easily just like, you know, go through itself and fix itself. But I didn't turn it off. So that's causing all of these problems. Anyway, I'm going to increase the number of frames from like 250 to say 500 or 600 just to see if it eventually settles down straight. Because from what I see, I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, yeah, never mind. I'm just going to turn down this distance. Let's see if that works. BRB. All right, so finally we have a basic, you know, a curtain that actually looks like a curtain. And the reason I say that is because as soon as I add a surf surf modifier to this, it all of a sudden looks pretty decent. If I go into rendered mode, you'll see like, oh, this could actually pass for a curtain. And to be honest, the top bit, it didn't turn out too bad. Um, for my curtain designs, I don't really want the top bit to ever be visible. So what I usually do is just like, um, you know how most top areas like of a curtain have a, sh a thing over here, where it's basically one second. It's basically hiding the back of the curtain. Um, that's what I do with most of my designs anyway. So that's not really a problem. Um, adding rings to curtains, like, it's possible and stuff, but honestly, it's just too much work for not that big of a return unless the curtains are your actual focus of your scene. Um, I guess, like, the only way this could be made better is with more detail, like, more deformations before you drop it down. But for the purpose of this video that I'm currently working on, yeah, this is, this is fine. Um, as for what fixed this, all I had to do is just turn down the distance to 0 0.005 instead of 0 0.015, I believe. Like, it was 1.5 at the end. And I just, yeah, knocked that down to a third of it, and it worked. Anyway, so this is it. Thanks for watching. I'm just going to quickly add a material to this. And, yeah, call it a day. Let's actually make it pretty. Yeah increase the subdivision oh what you could also do is like instead of increasing oh my bad instead of increasing the subdivision you could just make it smooth and yeah that works a lot better anyway thanks for watching and goodbye